Well, go on, everybody. Lennox here from Simple One Two Three Trader. This is the weekly playbook uh, outlook for the major pairs for the week of September thirteenth to eighteenth. And hoping everybody is well. I always begin the look at uh, the U.S. dollar futures index because uh, being able to uh, understand or see or analyze, postulate where this uh, index is going to move to next will give you a great opportunity to make some pips in the major US pairs. Okay, so looking at the US dollar futures index from the monthly time frame, uh, you can currently see that we are heading uh, down. At this point, uh, we are at a, a very strong support uh, resistance area that's been uh, happening for quite a while for uh, since 2014 it's been a very major area of uh, of stoppage and turning and uh, here at this point we had a, a move down move back up and move back down looks like there's something similar is about to take place again and uh, we'll uh, look at that a little closer so for the for those for this week we just want to see what's going to be happening in in this area of course and right now we're getting a little push back to the upside. Okay, so let's see how, how long this is going to this going to take effect. So on the daily time frame, which is more closely to what we're looking at for the next uh, five days, uh, you can see that we are indeed pu pushing up. Uh, we're at the the top of our channel that that I've drawn here. Um, we got rejected a little bit, and now we're pushing back again. So are we going to break through that channel and continue to the upside? Um, or are we going to reverse to the downside? Now we can drop a little closer on the four hour and then we get an idea of what's setting up for the week. Okay, so at this point in time, uh, this rejection to the downside looks like now that we are indeed pushing back up and, and should uh, break through uh, this high and challenge uh, uh, for new highs. Uh, going into this week. So that's a look at the US dollar futures index, looking at strength going into this week. And uh, if that bears out, then we can look to um, the major US pairs, like Aussie, for instance, to uh, take a little dip. If the US dollar is strong, uh, and Euro would be, of course, uh, taking a little dip as well. So let's take a look at Euro first, since Euro and uh, and the US dollar go opposite of each other. All right, so if the US dollar is strong, this is going to be weak. And if the US dollar is weak, this, uh, Euro US dollar is going to be strong. So on the weekly, we're pushing, we've been pushing very strongly to the upside, but we're at a major uh, support resistance area again and looking to turn. So on the daily, you can see we're just chopping sideways at this point, very choppy in this area and again looking like price wants to turn to the downside at least in the very short term maybe for this for this week okay so looking to the four hour time frame uh, again you can see uh quite the quite the drop down now push back up uh, sort of like a retracement of this move and now looking like we are uh, ready to continue to the downside since the us dollar is looking like it wants to continue to the upside Okay, so weakness in the euro uh, versus the US dollar uh, going forward into the week. Okay, so let's take a look at GBP US dollar and see how that uh, is shaping up. So again, this is on the monthly time frame. We are at, a, again, a very strong uh, resistance area on the monthly and a big red bar telling us where we've been just down. Big, huge move to the downside. Okay, and again, we're at a very critical uh, point right there along the price line, a very strong support resistance area for a long time. Okay, and uh, are we going to break through and continue down? Or is this just a small little blip and then a continuation will take place? Okay, well, let's take a look closer. And on the daily time frame, we are, we're indeed heading down in a strong way. Right on the four-hour time frame, we're still heading down. I'm not seeing any 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 look like it's going to turn around at any moment in time at this point. So on the daily, 
what we have here is a, a look of play that's going to continue at least down to this support area here uh, in, come, in the coming uh, days. All right, so weakness also in GBP. Okay, let's take a look at the New Zealand US dollar. So New Zealand and Aussie are basically, basically going to be doing a similar uh, things. So if we look at New Zealand and I look at the Aussie, the charts are almost identical. So I can either use either the New Zealand or the Aussie. It doesn't really matter which one. Okay, so weekly, uh, we're, we've been pushing up very strongly, but we're again, we're back at a very strong support resistance area. And it's looking to turn on the, on the daily. Again, we've hit that area and it's looking to turn. Let me just clear that. And on the four hour time frame, we, we have been down and uh, trying very hard to push back up. Maybe just again, a retracement of this move. But uh, again, overall, I think it looks like it wants to, to roll over and continue down uh, going into this week. Okay, so again, weakness in the New Zealand. Although New Zealand has been one of the stronger currencies uh, in the last while, this might be a little bit of a battle here, so be prepared, prepared for that. All right, uh, next I'll look at um, USD CAD. Okay, we'll look at, take a look at USD CAD. This is also on the monthly, and we've hit a peak and a, and a double peak here, which uh, took five years to, to uh, come back to. Very interesting. So uh, looking like we are indeed um, rejecting that level, not being able to break through and heading back down for the US dollar weakness against the CAD. So perhaps some parity finally with the US dollar against the CAD who could, could see us come back down to this area um, in the long term. Okay, that's on the uh, monthly, weekly time frame. We, we are still heading down and what I'm seeing here uh, is a structure that could to break break through this level but right now we could get a little bit of a bounce us dollar strength could give us a bounce here it's been a very again a very strong support resistance area and so we could get a little bit of bounce before we get that that push back down again all right so that might be holding up true we, it looks like we're getting that on the daily uh, a nice move to the upside right now on the four hour time frame again looking like we're heading to the upside challenging this area and may even go up up into this area for the week strength in the US dollar versus the CAD okay uh, let's take a look also at uh, USD Japanese yen this one's a little bit harder to to peg uh, and reason is we've been in this uh, very um, strongly tightly uh, wound um, triangle pattern for a uh, number of years, four years now, and we've just been up and down in it, very choppy. And right now we're 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 like right in the middle of that channel, so very volatile. But you can only see what's going on when you drop down to the lower time frames. Weekly, on the weekly, we've been we've been down, uh, very much so. We're still heading to the downside. Okay, but again, lots of opportunities both ways because of the volatility. Daily, on the daily, you can see we're, we're again, we're in, inside of a triangle and, and right in the middle of it. Okay, so it's very choppy, but, but opportunities on the smaller, lower time frames. Four hour time frame, one hour time frames, you can make lots of pips if you can catch these, these moves to the, to the ends of, of these, of these um, the triangles that we're in, for in, for instance, are triangles like this. You can catch these moves here, 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 and now again we're back into the middle. So it becomes a little bit more difficult now to decide, you know, where to, which way this is going to go. Okay, so be very careful with this pair. It's a very choppy affair, and uh, anything can uh, can happen here right now. U.S. dollar strength will give us uh, the, um, the emphasis or the the impetus to go uh, long, but again, care must be taken at this point. But US dollar ja uh, versus Japanese yen, strength unless the Japanese yen is stronger than the US dollar overall. Okay, a quick look now at uh, gold. Let's see, let me find the gold. This is 
uh, US dollar 500. Okay, so gold, a quick look at you at gold on the monthly. Uh, you can see again, we've we've broken through the, the, the high, of course, that is the highest it's ever been. And uh, it was uh, a quick turnaround. And we, we're now stuck at, a, at, a, at that point, at that point of highest previous high on the weekly. We are still right there. And what I'm seeing overall is that this the push to the to this level is now just a gyration that we're going to probably break through and continue up. But uh, it's it's in a, a a tough spot right now where its volatility is going to be the, the deciding factor here. Which way is it going to break? More than likely to the upside, but you have to be um, very very careful uh, waiting for this to break out. Okay, so on the daily you can see. Yeah, you know, similar to the Japanese yen US dollar, we're inside of a triangle. And is it going to break to the downside first before it goes to the upside? That, you know, this is where uh, anything can happen in here. So be very uh, careful. Okay, so again, we're inside of a triangle. We're in the middle of the triangle. Price price can break um, first. If I if I if I'm believing this is going to go long, then the more more than likely price will push down first uh, to entice uh, traders to go short before price breaks back up to the upside. So uh, that's what I'm seeing overall. So be very careful with uh, gold against the U.S. dollar in the short term. It's looking and pointing to the downside. Okay, so that's what uh, my my look at it for this week is. Okay, and that. We should be getting some further weakness in gold since the US dollar is strong. All right. Um, and lastly, I'm going to take a look at the, U the US 500, which is the SP 500. And um, I'll go to the monthly. So, big, strong push way up there. We've broken the previous high, similar to gold. And now we're pushing back down again. Okay. So, this is almost like an identical gold chart weekly. Um, Big push to the upside, but now we're heading to the downside. Daily, we're still heading to the downside. Okay, so four hour, uh, very much lo lots of weakness, but of course, we can get retracements of moves, and this is what's happening right now. We've got a retracement here and a retracement here. So, are we ready to continue to go back up or are we going to continue down? We can tell by going dropping down one more time frame to the hourly. Actually, um, yeah, it's it's a bit uh, like yes, we're gonna we're gonna push a little bit to the upside uh, shortly uh, in the short term, but that I would not be betting uh, on this continuing breaking these levels. Okay, so be very if you're playing the um, the stocks, uh, I would look for further weakness as the week uh, plays out in the U.S. market. All right, so that's a look at the uh, forecast for this week. So profitable trading to everyone. Be safe. We're done now. Thank you.